everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we are making a one-pot noodle dish, Pai Gu Men Mian. Pai Gu and Mian means ribs and noodles. Men is the cooking technique that I am excited to share with you. Basically, the ribs are braising at the bottom, which lifts up the noodles so they can be steamed right above that. At the end, we'll mix everything together. They're gonna turn out really flavorful and delicious. This is a super easy dinner meal and it serves a whole family. Let me turn on the stove to preheat my clay pot because it does take a few minutes to get ready. Other heavy duty cookwares such as a Dutch oven or a cast iron pot will also work. During this time, you can prepare your ribs. Use the tip of your knife to loosen up the silver skin on the edge. Grab a paper towel and rip that off. This is an optional step, but your ribs will come out much tender without it. Slice it in between the bones into individual ribs. These are back ribs. You can also use spare ribs if you want. This dish can be made with chicken thigh and beef ribs. You just have to adjust the braising time so they come out tender. By now, the clay pot should be nice and hot. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of cooking oil just to lubricate the bottom of the clay pot. Placing the ribs one by one, keep the heat on high, it takes a few minutes on each side to get some nice golden color. This is very important as it builds the foundation of the flavor. So just be patient here. When you see one side is beautiful like that, you can flip them all over and now it will take a few more minutes to brown the other side. During this time, you can quickly peel 5 cloves of garlic and slice some ginger. Add them to the clay pot. Stick them in between the ribs. Let the heat to activate the aroma. Clear a small space in the middle and add one and a half tablespoon of sugar. Just leave it there and let the sugar caramelize slowly. Let's give it a check. The other side of the ribs is nice and golden now. Roughly mix it to even out the sugar a little bit. Now you can add a quarter cup of Chinese cooking wine, a quarter cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, Mix this really well. Pour in two cups of boiling hot water. You can heat up the water in the microwave in advance. Turn the heat to low. At this point, you should give it a taste to make sure the flavor is right. Mine is perfect because I have made it many times. Adjust the position of the ribs so they stay below the water. Now let's gather some spices to make the flavor more complex. One star anise, one and a half teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns, one cinnamon stick, two bay leaves. Optionally, add a few red dried chilies for a little kick. You can throw all the spices directly into the clay pot but I like to use a spice bag because I don't want the Sichuan peppercorns to distribute everywhere. Otherwise, they will cling onto the noodles later and become super annoying. The ribs need to be simmered for 50 minutes. Before we move on, let me introduce you today's sponsorship, Soup Dog Recipes Clay Pot. I know clay pot may sound new to you, but it is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine it has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. 
The heavy duty wall allows for better browning and caramelization. Then you can maintain low and slow temperature on the stovetop or in the oven. Perfect for making soup, stew, pot roast, and congee. It can also handle simple tasks such as boiling noodles, wontons, and dumplings. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps your food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Now let's talk about the noodles. I'm using fresh ramen noodles. You can use other types such as egg noodles, wonton noodles, lo mein noodles, even pasta will work, but they need to be fresh. Dried noodles from a package contain a very low water ratio. They will not cook right with the men method. Most Asian markets will carry fresh noodles in their fridge or frozen section. If it is frozen, you have to defrost it in advance. If you cannot find fresh noodles and you have time, you can click this video to learn how to make your own. It has been simmered for 50 minutes. Let's check the doneness of the ribs. When you see the meat is pulling away from the bone like that, you know it's tender. Be sure to check the liquid amount as well because everybody's stove and cookware is different. It should be just a little bit below the ribs. If you have too much, you can always crank up the heat to reduce it. If you have too little, you can add more hot water. Mine is perfect. Now I'm going to add my snack piece. Other hard vegetables such as green beans, yard beans, carrot will also work. Loosen up the noodles and lightly place them into the clay pot. Do not pat it down. We want it to be airy and fluffy, which allows circulation and ensures even cooking. This is the men technique that I mentioned in the beginning. The noodles are lifted by the ribs, so they are not touching the braising liquid directly. We're just using the steam to heat up the noodles. Put on the lid, switch the heat to medium, and let it cook for five minutes. Five minutes later, all the noodles are wilted. Give it a nice mix to combine the sauce with the noodles. As you are stirring it, keep an eye on the sauce amount. When you see there is no more sauce left at the bottom, turn off the heat. If you continue to cook, it will start to stick to the bottom. You can throw in some fresh red chilies and cilantro as garnish. This smells amazing. The noodles have a deep brown flavor color. The texture is completely different than boiled noodles. They are chewy and firm in a pleasant way. The ribs are very tender. I just love easy one pot recipes like this. So little prepping and not too many dishes to wash. Perfect for a weeknight. You can even serve this whole pot on the table because clay pot can keep the food warm for a long time. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. That really encourages me to continue to make more delicious recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!